Reddit's leap onto the stock market stage has been nothing short of spectacular. Just four days ago, the social media giant made its debut on the New York Stock Exchange, and boy, did it make an entrance. Shares surged a whopping 48% by the end of its inaugural trading day, closing at an impressive $50.44 per share. This surge catapulted Reddit's valuation to over $9 billion, a staggering figure by any measure. With an initial public offering IPO of 22 million shares, Reddit opted for a share price of $34 each, comfortably settling near the higher end of its targeted range. What's more intriguing is Reddit's decision to offer shares to its own users, a move that adds a unique twist to its IPO narrative. All the exact uptake remains undisclosed. Having flourished over nearly two decades, Reddit has cemented its status as one of the internet's most beloved platforms, boasting a whopping 73 million users as of December 2023. But amidst the celebration lies a lingering question. How does Reddit, essentially a hub for serendipitous conversations, translate its popularity into profit? Unlike many platforms, Reddit operates on a free-to-use model, where users can freely browse, post, and engage in discussions without shelling out a dime. This model has left many wondering how Reddit sustains itself financially, especially considering its lengthy history of operating at a loss. In its quest for profitability, Reddit has experimented with various strategies, including a significant visual overhaul in 2017 aimed at attracting advertisers. However, the true turning point seems to be Reddit's foray into the realm of artificial intelligence, AI. Companies like OpenAI are willing to pay top dollar for access to Reddit's treasure trove of conversational data, with licensing deals projected to rake in over $200 million in the coming years. While this AI-driven revenue stream offers hope for Reddit's financial future, it's not without its challenges. Regulatory scrutiny looms large, with the FTC closely monitoring Reddit's data licensing practices. Additionally, legal battles such as the patent infringement allegations from Nokia threaten to throw a wrench into Reddit's plans for growth. Moreover, Reddit's own user base presents a double-edged sword. While its vibrant community is its greatest asset, any decline in user engagement or content quality could spell trouble for the platform's bottom line. Reddit acknowledges this risk in its filing with the SEC, underscoring the critical role of user retention in its future success. Despite these hurdles, Reddit remains relatively unchallenged in the social media landscape. Attempts to rival its dominance have fallen short, leaving Reddit with a captive audience, albeit one known for its vocal dissent and occasional uproar over platform changes. In essence, Reddit's stock market success hinges on its ability to navigate these challenges while retaining its loyal user base. As long as Reddit remains the go-to destination for online communities, its place in the stock market spotlight seems assured.